What's up, boxing fans? This is Anna here to do another boxing analysis. This post by analysis between Mayweather vs. Guerrero on Cinco de Mayo weekend, May Day. Let me break it down. Mayweather is great. People give him his credit. You thought that he was just going to get beat up and get thrown around like Birdo. Here and here. Mayweather said Birdo all the way at the bottom. Mayweather is the king of boxing, a master boxer, puncher, because he still has pop for people that say he just boxes the whole fight. And he's great. He does video game percentages. 60% of his punches throughout 12 rounds. 60%. 60%. Man, that's that's nuts. That's that's out of this world, man. That's that's scary numbers. Total punches, 195 landing out of 476. That's that's crazy right there. He landed 60% of his power punches and 90% uh, of his jabs. 42 out of 222. Mayweather is amazing. His pull counter, check left hook. Come on, you want to throw? He caught with the left foot. He caught with the left foot. I mean, the guy is something special. And people need to give this man his credit. 60%. Who else can do something like that? I, I, I don't know why, you know. The guy is amazing. Like I said, his footwork still there at 36 years. All you people that said Father Time's going to catch up with him because you're racist and you don't want to see African American achieve what he's about to achieve in five more fights when he rises off into the sunset of Las Vegas. As I say, on your high horse and just enjoy being, I mean, 49 and 0, you know. And that's time with uh, Rocky Marciano, you know. So, I mean, you got to get a man his credit. But before he does, he has to face these people to secure his legacy. Get the stupid ass, whatever people want to call it, rival with Manny Pacquiao. Not really a rival to me because he never was undefeated. You want, and he's going to win that fight because he's stronger, taller, faster, more intelligent. And his straight right hand down the pipe is ridiculous. And I, I don't think Pacquiao know what to do with that. And he's going to be the ring general. Yes, Pacquiao's going to land a couple combos. He's Pacquiao. He's amazing. He's a great fighter. Hall of Famer. Amazing Filipino fighter. Does a lot for the boxing sport. But Mayweather is this much better. This much better. Look how Mayweather beat Marquez. Look how much Pacquiao struggled Marquez. Styles make fights people. And quit hating on the Boricua from Caguas, Puerto Rico. My gente, my pueblo was the closest to be Floyd Mayweather, and I'm standing on it. And the only other closest was Castillo. But Miguel put in more work, busted him up, busted his nose, busted his lip, hit him with the jab several times, had him in the corner, he showed her in generalship. That was the closest fight you guys will ever see. A lot of people never gave Miguel Cotto a fair shot, a fair shake because you hate Boricua. You hate Puerto Ricans. I know how you people are, the bitter ass people out there. Not La Raza, not, you know, the Mexicanos, they show me much respect. All, all over YouTube and when I see them in person in the box. It's just the boxing circle and people in general. I love Mexicanos. Great people. You know, and uh, anyway, back on topic, Mayweather, right now, in my eyes, 44 and 0, 26 knockout. Best in this era, master boxer, put holding boxing on his shoulders, and everybody else is following him. Like, like he said, all roads lead to Floyd Mayweather. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, and fuck it, you know. Hey, I mean, uh, Floyd Mayweather Senior is something special too. Yeah, he might be a little bit bitter in people's eyes. Yeah, he he acts kind of funny and he gets into it. He cusses a lot and flips out. And he, has beautiful poetry, but what you gotta understand is a great trainer. Great trainer, don't get enough credit. Nobody on any of these boxing channels ever talk about how great of a trainer he is. He's one of the best ever to keep his son not getting hit and landing 60%. I haven't seen Floyd this sharp, and I can't tell you, I mean, he was sharp. And this is Guerrero, tall, 5'9, lanky, long, strong. Look, filled out body at 147 pounds, you know, uh, all the confidence in the world. But Mayweather broke that shit like that. I mean, just as soon as he got in the ring, took control. Took control. 
the first round is when you can get Mayweather thrown off his game. He's still figuring you out. Look at the Mosley fight. Look at the Zazuda fight. Look at the Haddon fight. You have to get your work done early. Nobody did enough in the middle and late. Girl couldn't even get started in the beginning because Mayweather was just that sharp. Senior had great instructions for when Floyd came out. You know, sticking with the counter, uh, the pull counter, boom, boom. That's what the pull counter is. You wait for your opponent to attack. You lean back just enough. You know the distance. Quick straight right hand. Footwork. Circle around your opponent. Keep it in the middle of the ring. I'm going to give it to you how you want it. How you want it. That's what Floyd said. And he, well, 50% of the fight, that's what he did. A lot for you people that say he ran like a chicken. It's because you're racist, you're bitter. You need fucking therapy, bro. You need therapy. Sorry that you, you know, you have to be a sorry ass loser, but it is what it is. And uh, a lot of you people need to go watch UFC. You want to see people fight like this? Oh, I'm getting hit, you getting hit. I'm getting hit, you get. Take your ass on. I don't want to hear about it. Quit complaining. This is boxing, and it's going to stay this way. Hit and not be hit, bitch. That's, that's how it is. Fucking puto. So, understand that. Back on topic. Ruben Guerrero, you're a crazy ass trainer. Very good trainer, but you're a crazy ass trainer. I love it. Great for boxing, just like Andrew Garcia. I would love to see Danny versus uh, Robert Guerrero. Woo! That would be a crazy press conference. Wow. I mean, after that Fight Hub interview, uh, he won't even see it, eh? I give it to him with that Pachuco kick. Boom! That was beautiful, man. That was so animated. Just amazing. I played that video fucking a hundred times. Great comedy, man. Ruben is amazing. You tried to get crazy in the ring after the fight. I understand because it's just something. But, man, you one crazy motherfucker, man. Real Chicano. True OG. True Cholo. Much respect. Uh, but like I said, Robert he even gave him his respect. I didn't think he was gonna do. He had so much pride when at the uh, post fight. I was like, wow. He said Mayweather's a great fighter. Kept it real, man. You like? I, I was almost there. Nah, you weren't almost there, man. You was pulling your punches. You weren't throwing like you said you were gonna throw. You weren't gonna get frustrated. Well, you did get frustrated. You said you was gonna throw away more body shots. You didn't throw away. You threw a good amount. Didn't bother me whether though. He was laughing at you. He was smiling. I was paying attention to everybody's shot. He was smiling, man. He was having fun in there. You let me to have fun in there, winking at the crowd. To Julie Chen, the talk show host on the talk. It's crazy. P. Diddy. You know? I mean, it's just it's fucking nuts how many people came to support Floyd. And it just it's, it's just good to see that people come to support a guy. Not just because he's a hundred millionaire and he's the highest paid athlete in boxing or in sports period for two years straight he has had the most uh, earnings and all that good stuff but people come to support him because they want to see skills, they want to see greatness, they want to see the master at something and Floyd, I don't say this about many and stuff, Michael Jordan, but Floyd is a master of boxing I have to throw that out, a master of boxing, nobody can fuck with the guy only one close would be Saul El Canelo Alvarez. He's going to represent for La Raza. He's going to have 40,000 screaming Mexicans going crazy. And he's representing Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico City, Mexico. That guy is something special. He has the intelligence, the ring generalship, the strength, the power. If Mayweather goes up 254 pounds, which I know Canelo would jump in an instant to go to 154 to face Mayweather. And he'll be healthy there because he'll do it the right way and it would be one hell of a fight. Not on Cinco de Mayo next year, but I would love it if it would be early to really test Mayweather's skill at 36 years of age on Mexican Independence Day, September. I believe it's the 14th or the 16th. I could be wrong. Correct me on the comment section below, but that's the fight. I will be there at that fight filming it live. Um, Instead of a boxing analysis, a boxing fan period, great night of boxing. Let me get to the other boxers. Uh, like I said, Guerrero, you didn't do anything. No ring jumpship, no double jabs. Done with you, man. You were through uh, 291, I believe it was, what, jabs. Only landed 32, 11%. Garbage. 28% um, of your power punches. Horrible. 81 landed 280, 290, whatever. 
113 out of 581 punches, which is sorry because you throw 800, 900 in any other fight. 90, 19%. What do you have to say for yourself? Come on, man. You didn't represent, you know, Mexicano as well, like you said. You don't talk all that shit. You know, you uh, papito, you know, the true Chicano going crazy like that. And you don't do shit, bro. But it's all good. Like I said, I love my Mexicanos. I'm not bagging on them. Like I said, uh, Canelo can maybe do it. Who knows, man. But Mayweather right now, give him his credit. If you don't, I'm going to block the delete you, man, because boxing needs positivity, bro. And Mayweather is showing how good he is, bro. Like, the dude's too good. Like I said, uh, let's get down to Leo Santa Cruz, yo. From uh, me, uh, Mucho Carne, Sinaloa, Mexico. That guy is special. You guys didn't watch my video on him being the future of boxing. I really meant that. This guy is special. He fights for his familia, fights for La Raza. He loves his Mexican fans and just all the fans in general. And he, he fights with so much heart and passion. He fights like Margarito, has the intelligence of, like I said, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. And the guy is just so smart, man. And he's the future of boxing with 24 and 0. He improves with 14 knockouts. Um, he landed 57% of his power punches, 183 landed out of 223 thrown. That guy is special. 36 jabs out of 101 thrown. Amazing. And uh, the guy just throws 100 punches per round. I mean, he, he's just special. And I would love to see him fight anybody at 122 to 126 pounds. Um, the next guy that... Uh, you know, he's from Philly, Philly Rican guy. His name is Gabe Rosado. Much respect. You know, I love, love, love my Boricua boxers, man. I got to support them. And, um, you know, it, it's sad that he gets his seventh loss. But, hey, he didn't lose anything. So I'm still a, a fan. You know, I'm not one of those people that bandwagon and sit there and say, oh, man, he didn't win, so I'm not a fan. No, man, he gave it his heart. He likes to rumble. He likes fighting inside. He likes to box. And he's still learning, you know. He's a young kid. He's not 30 or 35 or nothing. So he still has a lot of learning to do. But, hey, it is, it is what it is, you know. Mayweather promotions night anyway. So if it was a close fight, it's pretty much going to lead to J. Leon level. Even like Rosado. So I can knock him down five times. I'll probably lose by one point. So it is what it is. And those, those referees, I mean, not referees, but judges should be shot. I mean, come on, man. You know he won. He even got a great knockdown which he almost knocked them out, you know, so it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I'm still a fan, and Rosado, can't wait to see you in this fight, bro. Uh, Jaylee, I love, he's still undefeated, proves the 16-0. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> on to Ponte de Leon versus Abnormal. Abnormal is something special, Ponte is something special. They're both two of my favorite boxers, too, you know, uh, one of my favorite boxers, those two. And, uh, Ponce is special in his own way, very awkward, throwing a lot of left hands. He just didn't look himself tonight. He's still a great boxer, and he didn't lose anything either. Uh, he didn't get completely like, completely knocked out. He got TKO'd, but it was a great fight overall. Abner proved he can box. I didn't think he could box. I was yelling, man, he, there's no way he can box. He proved me and Al Bernstein wrong. And uh, just great adjustments. He's going to be something special in boxing. I guess, you know. If you box for uh, the, a Mexican uh, Olympic team and you box for, you know, you did a great job, that is going to carry on into a pro. And it shows that he's just not a come forward crazy brawler. He can box, use a jab, throw a one-two, uh, you know, just just do so much in the ring. Have movement and counter punching. I was, I was just impressed with his overall footwork and uh, intelligence in the ring. Great job, Abner. I salute you. You know, you repping, uh, I believe, it's Guadalajara Jalisco, too. And... That's what's up, man. You guys just keep winning and keep going. Uh, great boxing, you know. That's just great. Um, I like I said. I, I mean, tonight was just great, great night of boxing. You guys tell me what you think in the comment section below. What do you think? Who do you think Mayweather should face next? What's last five fights? Give me some names. If you really want to test yourself, I know he's not gonna do it. He can get another title and it add to his legend. Go to 160 face Triple G, but that's just a fantasy fight. I believe Triple G maybe will go down to 154. What do you guys think? I know that's a huge, huge, huge fantasy fight. Uh, Sergio Maravilla Martinez. 
he didn't look too impressed with last fight, but he just came off of surgery, so it's 50 50 on that. How you feel? I know how I feel, but I know Sergio's still a beast, and he would get up for Mayweather fight, trust me. Um, and of course, Canelo. Canelo versus Mayweather. That's just what I have it. So, once again, tell me what you think, and uh, I'll get back to you with more, you know, boxing post fight analysis. Peace.